Hello, and welcome to class. Today we're gonna to do a 20 minute yoga flow, and this can be done at the beginning of the day, or it can be done at the end of the day, but this is going to help lengthen and strengthen and feel so good in your body. That's what the whole goal is, to kind of bring some awakeness to your body through your breath and movement. All right, let's begin. Find a seat. I'm sitting on a bolster. You do not have to sit on a bolster. You can sit on something like two pillows, blankets, towels, whatever you're feeling like you have around the house and come to a comfortable seated position. It might be cross-legged like this or maybe one leg is extended. One leg can be kind of tucked in like how I'm doing it. All right, let's begin with a breath. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time on your own. Just pause here. Seal the lips. And now breathe through the nose. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. This is your yoga breath. Feel free to maintain it through practice. I'll give you some gentle reminders along the way. Let's begin with a little arm circle up towards the sky. Hands touch at the top and then exhale. We bring our hands all the way down our center line. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, we circle. And then exhale through the nose again. We bring our hands down our center line all the way to heart center. If you wanna get a little extra rich wrist stretch, Press into the hands as you come down, woo, and then kind of like shake it out. One more time, circle, reach, reach, reach. This time maybe find a little baby back bend. And then exhale, hands come together all the way down that center line. Press into the palms if you want that wrist stretch. Shake it out. All right, let's bring our right hand to the right. Left hand reaches up and over. Find a little side body stretch. And then we exhale, maybe we get a little deeper. Inhale, we rise all the way back up. Both hands now reach up like we're holding a beach ball or a beam of light above our head. Oh. <laughs> and then left hand comes down, right hand comes up and over, press into the mat and then just kind of shift so that there's more space here. We're trying to find all the space in our bodies today. <sighs> Inhale, both hands reach up again. Find that beam of light. Ah, it helps if you make the noises with me. Ah. <laughs> Exhale, bring our hands all the way down to the mat and then wiggle with it. Wiggle with it. We gotta wiggle with it. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and lift all the way back up and then switch sides. So like if you had one leg extended, we switch. And if you had one leg crossed, then we switch. Got you? And maybe if your legs were kind of open, you bring them a little more narrow. Adjust the legs, do something different. Inhale, we circle, beam of light, make the noise. Ah, exhale, bring hands all the way back down. Maybe we flex the foot and we just slowly lower and wiggle with it, and wiggle with it. <laughs> I'll never forget that scene in Shrek <laughs> where Donkey is with Dragon. <laughs> bring both feet in. Inhale, we lift up. Relax your shoulders. And let's stretch out our neck, right ear to the right shoulder. And lift up our chin. And then exhale, lower the chin. And Dragon is like winking at him. <laughs> Donkey's like, what's the matter with you? You got something in your eye? Like, I'll never forget that line. <laughs> On that next inhale, we come back to center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. We lift and lower. Or maybe just hold. On that next exhale, let's bring our hands and knees down to the mat. And <clears throat> ooh, find a little tabletop. Now, if you need some cushion for your knees, provide that with your bolster or set it aside. Hands are spread. Spread them. Okay, dig your fingertips into the mat and then let the belly come down. We look up, push the booty back, really feel that like that stretch in the front body, maybe in the neck, maybe in the chest, maybe in the core. And then exhale, slowly roll through, round the back, tuck the 
chin and tuck your hips. Push into the hands. And then inhale, allow that belly to come down again. Exhale, round again. And then just kind of find your own rhythm here. It can be slow, it can be fast, it can be wiggly. You can give a shimmy shimmy. This is your practice, you get to do it however you want. You can even go forward and back. I like to do this with toes tucked. That gives me a little toe stretch, a little wrist stretch. You can find a little circle with your torso and you can pause anywhere and you can also reverse it. Lots of places of exploration here. We're here for two more breaths. One more breath. And then on that next exhale, plant your hands, extend one leg behind, push into the hands enough to where that knee lifts up, and then just come right back down. So we're pushing, we're trying to open up those shoulders, and then do these, this other side. So extend this leg, push into the hands, try to open up those shoulders, just slowly opening up. And then both knees come down. Find one more cat cow. And then push both feet into the mat and both hands into the mat and lift up the hips. And now bend the knees a lot. Take your feet a little bit wider and find your first downward facing dog. I want your heels up on this one. I want your knees bent, push those hips back. <sighs> Relax your head, look to the back of the mat. <sighs> find that breath, we've got this bestie. We're here together, we're gonna do it together. Walk your feet slowly, slowly, little tip, 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 root to the top. And then all the weight comes onto your feet. Oh. Relax your wrists and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. So bend your knees, tuck your pelvis, slowly unwind yourself until shoulders roll down and back and then head lifts. Oh, oh my gosh, we made it to standing. We're here, we've got this. Give a shimmy. Mm -mm -mm. Hands come down by your sides. Let's lift up all the toes and set them down. Maybe a little slight bend in the knee, a little tuck, tuck, tuckaroo of the pelvis and look forward, breathe here. <sighs> yes. Okay, remember those arm circles we did at the beginning? Let's do it again, circle the arms. Exhale, plant the hands together and then bring it down to heart center. Now keep them together and we hinge at the hips. Ooh. And hands are just reaching now. Take our feet a little bit wider, okay? Push into the sides of the belly. So we're pushing to the right, push into the left. Push it real good, right? Set it between your thighs. Find your forward fold. Inhale, we halfway lift. Look down towards the ground. Back is flat, engage your core. Push that booty back, a knee bend, okay? So we're like making this like um, L shape with our bodies. And then exhale, we fold again. Inhale, we rise up with a flat back this time. Circle the arms once we get up there. Exhale, bring hands all the way to heart center. Yes, we just did a half sun. We just did a half sun. Yeah, we did. Okay, again, let's do it two more times. Circle the arms. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, rise up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, rise up, flat back, circle the arms. Exhale, we're gonna go right into it all the way down, hinge at the hips, forward fold, adjust the belly. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, all the way, circle the arms, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bring hands to heart center and just give yourself a little shim, shim, shake a Yes, bestie, we just did that. And we're gonna do more. We got this, we got like 10 more minutes. We're only halfway done. Circle the arms, reach up. Exhale, we fold. Adjust that beautiful belly, right? Inhale, halfway lift. This time I want the toes out. So look at where my toes are. They are going to point out, okay? This is just gonna help you leverage to get into plank. 
toes are out, and then we kind of find the squat. So my full palm is on the ground. Bring my hands out in front a little bit more, lean into my right leg, lifting my left leg and stepping it back. Now I can step back my right leg and bring my knees to the ground. All right, we are in plank. Engage your core. I want this dome-like situation happening in the back. Kind of like we're in cat, like meow, right? We're in cat. Now lean forward so that our chest is coming down, bending at the elbows, and then push right back up. Lean forward, come down, push right back up. Good job. Amazing job. Now, come off those wrists for just a moment. I know, I know. Shake them out. Come right back. This time, all the way down, okay? We got this. All the way down. Okay, even if you plopped, it's okay. Point your toes, squeeze your bum, press your pelvis into the mat, and then take these elbows that want to do this, allow them to come by your sides, and then maybe we look up. A little baby cobra. And then exhale, lower your head down, push into the mat and find your tabletop, and then push your hips back and tuck your toes. And then here's where you can stay in tabletop or you can find that downward facing dog again. <sighs> Breathe. If you've lost your breath, now's a good time to find it. So inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three three, four, good job, bestie. That next exhale, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Okay, we're here. Now, all the weight is in the feet, so we're grounded. Bend the knees and then slowly start to come all the way up with a flat back. Circle the arms as we come up. Inhale, hands come to heart center, yes. Yeah. Good job, bestie. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. We are gonna do that one more time and we're gonna add on. Circle the arms. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, rise up, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant, maybe toes come out, knees bend, we squat down. Lean to the right, step our left foot back. Step our right foot back. Stay up or knees down. Lower down and enter all the way. Inhale, we find our little baby cobra, or maybe if you're up here, you just let your hips come down and we look up. Up to you, bestie. And then exhale, come back to tabletop and push yourself back up into plank. Yes, breathe. And then let's come all the way back down, knees come down. Take our left hand to the left, right, foot swings around, yeah? And then we find our low lunge, hey! Find our low lunge. Now I wanna give a little tuck, tuck, tuckaroo. So we're feeling a something right here, yes, yes. And then exhale, go ahead and lean back, extend our leg, maybe we use a block here. So that helps to lift up our chest so that our back stays flat. We don't want no round backs, right? Breathe. On that next exhale, bend the knee, come forward, and let's take our foot a little bit off to the side. Both hands can come to the mat or to a block, and we find a little lizard. Really stretch out that hip. It's the morning, you gotta stretch those hips, and we can kinda give it a wiggle wiggle, you know what I mean? So we're wiggling with it. On that next exhale, go ahead and walk your hands back. Left hand comes back to the left, circle around that right leg. Then the right hand comes to the right, circle around the left leg. Hey, we're on the other side. Maybe we grab our block so that we can find some stability over here. And you know what, this knee, it needs a bolster. You decide when you need one, you give it to yourself, okay? We can always adjust, we never have to Practice with pain or uncomfortability. <laughs> Is that a word? Go ahead and tuck, tuck, tuck a -roo. Feel the stretch on this leg here. Maybe this arm comes up. Breathe. <sighs> Exhale, go ahead and push into that foot. Allow it to be 
be lengthened. So this, maybe we're finding a little soft bend. This hip, maybe we're playing with it and pushing it down. So we're feeling it here along this back of the foot. That's where we should be feeling things. On that next exhale, go ahead and bend again. And we can heel toe this foot off to the side, both hands come down and we play with a little lizard. So again, wiggle, wobble, wiggle, wobble. We got this, right? Allow that hip to do its thing. And then walk your hands back, right hand comes off to the side, swing around the left hand. And now we plant both of the hands down lift up the hips and we're back in our downward facing dog. Yay, bestie, we made it. And then walk your feet towards your hands. Since I have my bolster here, I'm gonna walk my hands a little bit towards my feet and move my bolster off to the side. There we go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, circle the arms, reaching up and overhead, press into the palms and exhale. Bring hands right back to heart center. Oh, we worked on all the things. Now let's get into the shoulders just a little bit. Okay, facing you. I want one hand off to the side and I want you to take your other hand and bring it all the way over towards this side. So it's like we're trying to keep our hips forward and because my microphone is just like, there we go. <laughs> we want our hands to touch, feel that stretch in our side body, and then allow that arm to come down and then lift up and then come back down and then come back to center. And then now we're take, dragging this hand all the way across. And then let's open up both of the shoulders. So now find a little cactus. Hands are reaching back or up. And then exhale, bring our shoulders together. Squeeze the back of the shoulders. Inhale, open up again. And this time, this hand comes over. Now we're going to work on that lowering down so we find that side body stretch. And then raising back up. And then back to center. And then let that hand kind of glide all the way back open. Let that stretch happen in the front body chest. Find our little uh, cactus shape. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then bring our forearms together. Yes. I love you. No, I love you. <laughs> and then exhale, release. Oh, so good. All right, friends. It's Shavasana time. So get down to your mat, however you want to. Um, you can do Shavasana standing. Shavasana just means um, corpse pose, which sounds kind of morbid, but <laughs> um, it just basically is the placeholder at the end of practice so that you can kind of relax your body and take in all of the things that you have done and just kind of like think about them. So that's what I want you to do. We're gonna be quiet for a minute and I want you to think about all the things and allow yourself to just like breathe and be here. So as you lie down, like I'm gonna grab my bolster and put it underneath my head, give myself a little support. But as you lie down or stay standing or seated or however you wanna take it, maybe you just think about opening up those shoulders. So taking your hands where palms are face up and then I want you to maybe squeeze all the muscles in your body. Squeeze them, squeeze them all. Your, your palms might make a fist, your toes might scrunch, your face might scrunch, everything is squeezing. And then relax everything. Oh. And just notice how your body might like feel more connected to the ground, you know? And then, Last thing I want you to kind of think about is the thoughts that are happening for your day, the task list to do, those are going to enter your brain. And I would love it if you took those thoughts as they came into your brain and then let them turn into marbles and let them roll out of your brain. <laughs> so this is your yoga space. So like create this little yoga room and then everything on the outside doesn't matter. It's everything that's right here that matters. So just take a breath. Maybe we close our eyes or just look down. 
relax everything. Breathe. And I'll be quiet for a moment, just so you can kind of think about how your body feels. Feel free to stay here as long as you need, but if you'd like to finish practice with me, you can roll out your wrists, wiggle your fingers and toes, and maybe roll to one side, finding a little fetal position so you can bring your knees up towards your chest and maybe make a little pillow with your hand if you don't have that support there. And then press into your other hand so it lifts up that torso and find a comfortable seated position. Okay. Feel free to take your time here. Like we are not in a rush. We just moved and breathed and paused. And so you should be feeling a little of that like yoga after glow flow, right? After flow glow. <laughs> ah, I should feel a little be me. <laughs> Bring your hands to your heart center, tuck your chin, and just thank yourself for showing up today. Amazing job, bestie. I'm here for you. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. The divine light within me honors the divine light within each and every one of you. Thank you for practicing with me. Ah, amazing job. Okay. I I'm just so glad that you showed up today and that you are here and I hope you have a fabulous day and don't forget to check out what I got on my offerings because it's kind of good. <laughs> my 75 self love course is 75 days, 10 minute yoga practices and it just kind of gets you from ground zero to like moving, right? And then also some self love vibes. And then my membership hundreds of classes available. So if you want even longer, fuller length classes, be sure to check it out. I'd love for you to join and be a part of the community. Mwah. I'll see you on the next one.